I'm just gonna say all the possibilities. Yeah. That way, when one of them turns out to be right, I'll look like a genius! <laughs> that reminds me. So when, when we do find out what happens, please everyone concentrate on the Dan called the right one instead of Dan called seven wrong ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I support that. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this strange situation indeed- This guy's the ultimate fanfic writer. You don't know that. I knew it! I knew it. Oh, of I, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> great deductive reasoning, Aaron. <laughs> that was you. You mean to tell me this guy is not the ultimate baseball or pop star? <laughs> I am Celestia Ludenberg. Why didn't it say Celestia Ludenberg in your name? Why did it just say Celeste? Great question. You'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. <laughs> what did he say until the, the day we die? Yep. Oh. Don't worry, it's happening next week! <laughs> yeah, it's real soon! You know, I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't just like add in like, cause it's like, you know, ultimate prodigy and ultimate baseball player, and they just, they had like ultimate serial murderer, and it's like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh sweet! <laughs> this could be easy. What the hell?! Oh. Oh, she's dead. No way in hell am I letting someone kill me. I'm tilted I'll the same die direction. first! Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Nice! Nice. Okay, so yeah. So gotta check people's hands and clothes, I guess. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that too. I was like, just check Sayaka's hands. Oh, I thought it said Leon. Upside down. Oh. Written- oh, Leon's the redhead. Oh crap, really? I mean, it's Leon, like... <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that could possibly mean. It's, it's Leon upside down. <laughs> the one who murdered Sayaka, is it really one of us? Yeah, the one in the back, on the right. Yeah. His name's Leon. Leon? It's Leon. Yeah. He's right there. It's because right. Leon's the only one with red hair. hair on the floor. Ah. <laughs> when I was trying to force it open to kill Sayaka, it was definitely <laughs> locked! Um, Maybe she was trying to kill Leon. And frame you for it. Oh, shiz. Why do you think she's such a bad girl? I told you, Aaron! <laughs> no, you didn't say that! You said that she wanted to get Makoto killed! That- that- I said both things. At different times. I don't remember you saying that she just wanted to kill Leon. Unless I just thought it really hard. But I feel like I said it out loud. Obviously, I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? Aside from say the fucking name that was written on the <laughs> goddamn wall! This is the most presumptuous girl I've ever met in my life. Like, she's yeah. fucking like, well, I know everything about you and people who are dead. I know it all. Well, is it, isn't she the ultimate something, like the ultimate detective or something like that? I don't remember. If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. I mean, I like murder. <laughs> Jeez, Celeste, come on. <laughs> I'm like a huge murder. <laughs> Fuck, I can't get any murderage around here. Oh. Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me? While well, you're still alive? Where is Bakya? Probably in the library? Actually, that makes a lot of sense. I should probably go to the library. Yes. The goth Lolita girl? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I'd probably want her on my side anyway, right? I mean, she seems like a cold-blooded killer. Yeah. So, yes. Oh, still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. There's a gym! Yeah, there's- they, they got dumbbells upstairs. <laughs> Everyone, thank you. Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. She's as good as dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that we all like her, she's gonna get murdered yeah. immediately. Yeah, if I know this game. If you like, I could do a reading right now to see whether my reading was right or not, but it'll cost you another thousand dollars. Yeah, naturally, I love it. Naturally, additional fees will apply. You'll you'll be leaving now. You should go look some. Yeah, yeah. He's just that kind of guy. I feel like it's too obvious that he would be the murderer. Yeah, of I, I think. Yeah, I, I I don't I don't think it's him. But he's definitely um, hiding something. Yeah, he's definitely a tool. <laughs> I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then that's great! <laughs> then yeah. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? I figured we'd co-op on this one. Um, so what did you need? I'm going to let you cooperate <laughs> with me during my investigation. You know, like a co-op game, which I said this isn't. 
dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard Chiro talk about it, right? Oh, I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Wait, so he was referring to her as dude? Yeah, oh, he's, he's very progressive, but did he really need oh. to get stronger that badly? Did she really did need she to get really strong to get yeah. that badly? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. <gasps> We're going to the files room in the library! Won't let genocide jack have control! Okay, uh -oh. okay. And just like that, she, she slammed have, the door in my face. Did she have multiple personalities? Oh. Oh. Yeah, could she be like struggling, like a Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing? I see. Bloodlust is written in blood and the victim's body is suspended. All things that couldn't possibly be done by anyone else! Oh my god! I mean, they didn't have like scissors, so that's also not the same. Boys can't be down with boy bands? Well, because we were in here before, and it was the, it was the cute girl. Remember, I made a mention about uh, that when yeah. we went into the girls' locker oh, room. Oh uh, yes, and the and the sexy waifu girl poster was in the girls' room, and it had blood on it. Yeah, and there's could blood the killer here. have switched the posters? Wait, was it the extension cable from the library? Ooh, good question. It's too obvious. I don't think this is going to be the answer. Yeah. Tell anyone what? Gotta be a twist. Yeah, is she, is she gonna turn out to be the ultimate detective or something? She might be. I'm assuming they're gonna say something about the tracksuit being a certain color. Oh, is it because Mondo said dude once? And I thought oh, he was just yeah. progressive. Wow. And then Pyakya was like, I'll make this look like some other murderer did it. <laughs> yeah. Why? I don't really know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> To make things more complicated! <laughs> now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. No, don't worry, Hafumi. You'll probably be dead soon. <laughs> yeah, you don't gotta worry about much soon. Let's Look see. on the bright side. <laughs> Look on the bright side. You know, the light at the end of the tunnel. But then again, it's a robot, so it doesn't really feel anything, does it? Oh, dip. It, it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. Oh, shit. <laughs> I feel like this is that's happened in this game more than any other game, where we're just like... Us makes, predicting... Yeah, the make lines, it some kind yeah. of one-off comment or something, and then it's just like, oh, the other character just said that. You know when the match for us, and that's why we are all so pleased. Huh? Y yeah, that's exactly what we were talking about. It's, of course, <laughs> silly <Damn>. me. <laughs> Note to self: Celeste lies very easily. Yeah, Toko's back. Yeah, look, look, she's back to her old miserable self. Yeah. Oh, she. <laughs> oh, she's back to her Debbie down herself, huh? Oh, jeez. Hero, you and I get each other. Mm -hmm. Nobody's gonna get murdered! <laughs> Smash cut to- Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 3! <laughs> because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure- Oh no, Alter Ego! Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Even her keyboard? This is getting really weird. Even wow. <laughs> well done, Aaron. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep while I do a bunch of traitoring. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. Surely someone's dead. When I found yeah, out yep. what's waiting there for me. He, it, he does look like a hamster in yeah. general. Have you seen that video Boy. of the hamster? <laughs> Where he's like... He's Having like, Vietnam flashbacks? <laughs> there was like just being held by some... It's owner, uh, presumably, and it's just like, <laughs> and then it like zooms in <laughs> no. on its face, and it's just like, <laughs> I was witness to two nightmares, one right after the other. There was one. The only question was, which was the murderer? <laughs> <laughs> one of them murdered the other, obviously, in different places. No, they were before weren't. being murdered himself. Yeah, there's a lot of like, I can't believe this is happening. Well, I, I can. <laughs> yeah. You know, this I is day like, seven of this. I feel like the, the the game really primed us well for, it's for the most believable thing. <laughs> if Pac-Man showed up, that would be hard to believe. <laughs> I don't believe a body would just disappear. It must have been someone strong if they could move Hifumi's body. Mm -hmm. Unless Hifumi wasn't really dead. Yeah, but there's no guarantee that both murders were committed by the same person. Oh. Or mm. even that both people are dead. Oh. Bro. Holy crap. 
Wow. All right, in my mind, that makes it super definite that he is not the killer. <laughs> yeah, right. Yasuhiro Hagakure! That is the only person he could have been referring to. Unless you know any other Yasuhiros. <laughs> a criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that who Hero is? I mean, we're probably gonna find so, out man. no, but... Yeah, he's, he's, he seems pretty chill. Something about Ifumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. Oh, he's like actually dead now. And we find Ifumi's corpse, which is also what we heard the body discovery announcement play. Well, it wasn't a corpse, he was still alive. And Celeste is all, we're always like running into Celeste, that's kind of suspicious, yeah. right? Yeah, um, it, it would also make sense why he w wiped his own glasses clean, so he could see. Both rooms are on oh, the- Oh! Maybe those were the wheel marks then, not the arms. Oh, yeah. Then that makes it even more suspicious that, uh, Hifumi's body didn't have, uh, wheel marks around it. Oh, yeah, he just like got up and left. Okay. Robo-justice. Okay. I mean- Wait a second. What? I have a question. Yeah. Robo Justice was the name that Hifumi gave to the robot. Yes. Not the robot- Yeah. So why would- why would Hero's Blueprints already have that name in there? Uh, yeah, well I mean, he didn't say like, I coined the name Robo Justice, he just was like, it I was Robo Justice. I thought he did. I thought he said, I'm calling him Robo Justice. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah, that seems pretty sus. Yeah. You totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. Why That's my... gonna be important. Yeah. <laughs> There's some meaning to part of it being ripped. Um, could you explain a little bit more? Think carefully, you stupid bastard. Does the rip not exactly match the rip that was being held in Taka's hands? If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately obvious. Yeah, the, the midsection doesn't bend. So this is probably him carrying the suit in. Let's take the mass murderer's word for it. Yeah. Somehow I find her the most reliable when she says she doesn't murder something, because I feel like... Yeah, because she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like she'd be like, I did it, fuck yeah. I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. He got That's up and true. walked. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, you, yeah. Dan, you, uh, fucking, you fucking called it, dude. You called it like... Wow, I'm, I'm very proud of myself. Mm -hmm. Justice Hammer 3 and 4 were still laying around in the nurse's office and equipment room, right? Mm -hmm. so if was killed, oh, he was killed by one of the, the hammers and then it was cleaned. I still think it's strange to assume someone was working together with him. Guilty! When you think about it, she's almost too amazing. Like, it's almost unnatural how good she is at this. Maybe she's the world's ultimate detective. I don't know. You think she has a walkthrough? We're all going to die, just like those guys did. I remember her saying that too, but... Oh, well, she didn't know that there had been multiple deaths at this point. Yeah, he says, he says, Naegi. Naegi, yeah. Exactly. I know I heard him say Mr. Naegi. So why'd you decide to make me the suspect? Because you're dumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. If I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice, then... I think I would like to come back as Marie Antoinette. You know, she also got executed. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> you just get executed again. How long are you gonna make us keep going through this? What do you want from us? Three more chapters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ten more hours of gameplay. Gagunk! <laughs> what is there a fucking chicken farm in here? I. I <laughs> I'm going to resist you. Hell yeah! Oh shit! But now she's gonna die. So I got a burger to go and headed home. I have a strong feeling this story is not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, alright. Next time on Game Grumps, we'll go to the headmaster's office. Hell yeah. Unless this door is locked, in which case that'll be a... That'll be a big ol' letdown. <laughs> nah, that'll be a big ol' letdown. Rattle, rattle. Huh? Door's locked! Son, bitch! I knew it! <laughs> Damn it! I had a bad feeling. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. <laughs> well, okay then, that settles it. <laughs> beep boop, beep boop, beep. <laughs> no. That's, that seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, but she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry, that's everything I found. For some reason I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? huh? Might be that poison you drank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be really disappointed Makoto. when uh, Alter Ego gets hacked oh, yeah. by Monokuma. Yeah. She gets all smashed up. Sucker, I don't die. Um I've had 
I've had too much time, and now I'm really attached to all these I characters. Know. Sakura? Except for Byakuya. When I see <laughs> Sakura dead, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Yeah. Do 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 do. Sakura's dead. It seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. Oh, so she was poisoned. Yeah, that that is weird, because you smashed in the window and then everyone came right in, so why would the protein drink be above the glass? Mm-hmm. Wait. Let me see that... again? What? The Let me see that shelf again? The shelf I'm looking at? Yeah, yeah, can you get a closer look? No. One more time? Oh, man. Because it showed everything and it actually looked like two bottles were missing. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks... It still does, actually, because... The... The chess pieces are... Pawn, Rook, the Knight one was smashed on the floor, Bishop, Blank, and then King, so the Queen would be somewhere. There's a second missing bottle, baby. Oh my god. Dude, we've had so many friends that are dead now. <laughs> Junko. God, she didn't get a moment. She didn't even get a yeah. moment. She seemed so important at the beginning. Yeah. It must be related to the case somehow. Of course. What do you mean if it's related to the case somehow? <laughs> <laughs> she was poisoned and you're in front of the poison thing with poison <laughs> spilled on the floor. Broken pieces are heavier. Dude. They're using this to say that there were two bottles. That they're going- these- they're jumping through these, like, thousands of hoops to say that there were two bottles, when there were clearly two bottles! Sorry, never mind. So she is, like, the ultimate detective or whatever. She's something, for sure. Trying to emulate that to throw people off the trail. Ma that makes me suspect Toko less. Oh, interesting. She was stronger than anyone I know! And yet, someone killed her. Maybe it was herself. Maybe she was the only one strong enough to kill. And that person is here. <laughs> to overtake her own self. <laughs> that person. She is struggled for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Locked in combat. It's so hard. I know. When did you see the message? Um. Uh, uh, hold on. When I wrote it. <laughs> oh, was it an accident? So I headed to the rec room right before noon. Or he thinks he killed her, but he didn't really do it. What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. Like he Way said, go, Hero. with those exact words. <laughs> My boy's making it to chapter five. Also, how dumb do you have to be to not notice that you're leaving obvious footprints in yellow powder spilled all yeah. over the floor? Like, kick it around, man. Why would someone leave such a clear clue like a- Well, that- that was my question. Hero busts in. Yes, of course! Sakura killed herself! <laughs> and everyone's like, what? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess we, at one point, called literally everything, so... I mean, it- because it's making you think literally everything. Yeah. I have no memory of what I I'm have. the ultimate amnesiac. <laughs> What's this key even unlock? I don't know yet, which is why. It unlocks my room. So conveniently. Not gonna talk, huh? Uh, he knows I exploited! <laughs> sure, I get it. <laughs> well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation. Far away from X rated exploits. No one's died in quite some time. I, I think it's possible that a couple people might survive. Oh, really? It's Kyoko. Kyoko! I mean, not. I mean, why would they yeah, do not this necessarily. if it was just Kyoko? Then that yeah, dead body. I don't buy it. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Okay. <laughs> She'll blow up on you. <laughs> that key looks pretty Tronish. Yeah. It could be a data center yeah, key. Yeah, I think it probably is. I went to insert the key I found in the garden of the keyhole. Click. Click. Fence. Yeah. I guess that means whoever the mastermind is was expecting us to break in here eventually. Oh. So naturally, that body can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko. Oh my god. No! Way to fucking no! jump to conclusions, dude. Like, you don't know any yeah, of that. Yeah, I'm still- I'm still not sure. There is no other possibility. Oh. Well, Byakuya's sure. Everybody I'm thinks Kyoko's here. the dead body, but I don't think Kyoko's the dead body, but... Uh. Yeah, I- I feel like they wouldn't send her out like that. There's only four chickens. Is that why they made a big oh, deal about shit. saying there were five? Definitely. <laughs> I count four chickens, huh? Four? What's going on, Makoto? Oh, dude, Hero's gonna lose be so one of your fucking, fucking chickens. <laughs> he's gonna lose his mind when he finds out there's not five chickens anymore. <laughs> you know he's just gonna grab the sides of his head and scream like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew he'd take it really hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
<laughs> what are we going to do? Going from five to four is going to have an impact on the structure of the world. Oh my god. Yep, that's our hero. You, you seem to suggest that the robe or whatever that person was wearing was placed on backwards. I don't um, think it, it was even, like, on the body. I think it was just laying over. Yeah, it was just laid over. But it was laid over and then stabbed through. Yes. So that that's weird too. Makes you kind of wonder if the person died first and then was stabbed afterwards mm -hmm. as a red herring. Oh, you have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect after all. Then go uh. with him. Of course, if I were to go with you, oh, <laughs> if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Perfect. It's a woodblock decoration, or is it a key? What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Interesting. Does a corpse exploding count as something happening? <laughs> well, something certainly has happened. <laughs> yeah, so open it. She wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. Ooh, so she might still be alive. Yeah, what? Th that corpse didn't have scars. If she's a student and she killed someone, that would make her part of the school killing game. Or... She's dead, and we discovered her body, and that's why we have to have the trial. <laughs> to show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad <laughs> would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body, like the back of their hand, for instance. It's, it's Kyoko. <laughs> oh. If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. When we heard that voice, we all spun around to look. <laughs> like she comes up all wacky like Monokuma does. <laughs> the body was covered in an armor of fake nails. That's why there were two missing. The body was coated in the fifth chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't the victim's clothing. It was just the fucking jacket laid over the body. The game kind of like slid us towards choosing uh, Makoto and Kyoko as the two possible suspects, mm. which means... There's very little chance that either one of them are the killer. Damn, so right. Uh huh. That oh, that's right. There's the, the duct tape. Titanium clothes. arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. Probably wrapped in duct tape, even though they just left it there. The thing that I came to this school to do is the thing that's most important. Okay, and what is that? <laughs> my survival. <laughs> <laughs> what? I made up my mind to come to Hope Peak Academy for one very important reason. <laughs> even, the, even the buttons in the corner are like, yeah? <laughs> I can't believe I fucking called that. It's basically a miracle you don't put your pants on your head every morning. I do! And then I remember. <laughs> your intuition was right though. Maybe you're not the only one with amnesia. I'm the ultimate detective! That's awesome! Oh no shit. We, we, we made a joke about that yeah, earlier. Yeah. But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. How much I appreciated the greatness that he did for me. <laughs> God, I hate him. I hope he dies. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. However, don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Can you just say no problem <laughs> once? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we'll just move on to the next misery. Yeah, true. <laughs> But still, I'm glad it worked out. Yay! There it is. Makoto comes off in this conversation like somebody who's not listening, but just like repeats the last thing that they heard to make yeah. it seem like the, they're listening. To prove a point, most likely. <laughs> prove a point! <laughs> ah, a secret door. There's a strange gap in the wall. It's almost door-sized. Probably nothing. Is it some kind of design mistake or construction defect or something? It's a so... fucking... <laughs> <laughs> There's a gap here, but not just any normal gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. It's a secret a door. That's <laughs> very clearly obviously a door. Maybe it's her dad behind the door. Oh. Anyway. She'll be so happy slash not happy to see him. You seem like you're going yeah. through some shit. Maybe I should leave. Seems like you've got five stages to go through. <laughs> hey. Could you leave? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had a feeling. <laughs> this locker is totally disorganized. It looks like Hero's Locker. Hmm. hmm. Oh yeah, it is a little mystical, isn't it? Whoever it belongs to probably has organization problems in every part of their life, and is stupid and has large hair. Oh, it says Whoa. his name on it. <laughs> it is, yeah. We don't know who killed Makura. Oh, that's so true. So it was probably the the other mastermind who uh, 
who took him out. Shit, man. Shit. Yeah, wow. Man. This is this is interesting. Maybe it's someone who died early on, like uh, like Junko or. That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. Wait, it's, it's Junko without her hair up. I guess it's cold in here. Well, here I am in the bio lab. It's so cold. It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm a giant refrigerator. I'm in a giant refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many students should have died by now? Ten, right? Ten? Six, seven, eight, nine. That's Nine it. plus Makuro. Um, well, plus Makuro. Oh. Yeah, yeah. All the Monokuma file says is that they were inflicted at least several days ago. I guess I don't see the oh. difference. They killed the person and then brought the body out. Ah. So it could be somebody that was already dead that we knew who was dead. Yes, just got dragged out. Yeah. But we all got the Monokuma file right after she was killed, right? I bet it's Junko. Oh man, that would be random. Okay, I'm going to make a prediction. Okay. And it's going to make no sense. Okay. Everyone was invited. Mm hmm And then during the time that you were, like, passed out and don't remember, like, you just woke up at a desk. Yeah. Uh, you guys went through the full experience of being in a class together for a year, and something horrible happened, and then you woke up, and now you are the... You are... Like, that- that class that all the destruction and terrible things happened to, uh, was your class from a year ago, and you just- none of you remember it because you were all brain- brainwashed or something, uh, and then you're all ghosts! <laughs> Dude, I had a feeling something weird happened during that stretch of, you know, unconscious time before yeah. he woke up at his desk. Hina! Hero! <laughs> Hina? <laughs> Hero? <laughs> hm. Whatever. I can't believe I'm going to survive this game. I'm such a douche. And I'm gonna sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat. He's sitting as, a, as if he was a student. Which may hint to something. Wow. Yeah, I think so. Just assumed everyone else was the enemy? Well, they were probably the one taking the picture, right? Huh? I think so. The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. <gasps> there might be some other reason. Like, we got our fucking memories wiped. <laughs> isn't that the implication? It's not me. I'm not the mastermind. You know what, Hero? <laughs> I think we could pretty much rest assured that you're telling the truth on that one. <laughs> yeah. Her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. She was already dead. To hide a body here, to just store it somewhere. He was in the yeah. morgue, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that makes yeah. sense. He's using your fear to power his monster city. <laughs> <laughs> Officially, ten murders have been committed. Oh, so didn't far. I call it? Didn't I say Mukuro's body was Junko? I think I said that. Murdered again. Yes, because that's all the stab wounds. That's how Junko died. Uh, if that's oh, oh Aaron! Junko. Just give me the opportunity to say it's Junko, and we can end this charade. Give me the bullet, give me the bullet. I called it you. It's because of the hair color. Yes, he did. Or maybe Junko's still alive. I don't know. <laughs> There's only one person it could be. It's Junko. Junko was dead. Well, then that wasn't Junko. That was Mukuro Ikusaba, and Junko's the real. Ah! <laughs> it wasn't Junko, but someone else entirely. That's what I'm saying. Maybe she used some sort of trick. Junko isn't Junko. She was Mukuro Ikusaba the whole time. When she entered the school, she like. I don't know, I was wearing a wig or whatever, and did her makeup like Junko. I feel like this all goes out the window because she's a fucking supermodel. And and wasn't there a character or two in the beginning that was like, I know Junko because of her pictures, like... It was before I ever yes. came to the school. I remember seeing <sighs> your cover. And you were on it. Right. Didn't they also say something about photoshopping and... 
uh, I guess, how you can make anyone look like anything. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and Jack? Uh, well, of course, those are totally Yeah, photoshopped. remember we we were talking about that because she 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 says that like things are photoshopped. I guess I'm just upset that they didn't do a good job like conveying that. Because she looks exactly like when Mukuro was being her. Twins. What? I know. Oh! Yeah, Sakura. Was it... Um, betrayal or resistance? Oh, yeah. Yes. So the theme of the motive in the Force case was... Oh, there you go. Oh, betrayal. shit. <laughs> it's, I, I, I'm starting to get the impression that this is like the village or something. Like, this is, this is like post-apocalyptic and like... There is no outside world. I'd like for you to see the outside world. Oh, I knew world. it. I fucking knew it. Wow. What are the memories I took from you? The last year. Oh, no. Answer us. Answer with the last all two your years. heart and soul. Yeah, I guess so. For all, all the years that they have been at Hope's Peak Academy. I guess because for one year it was just a normal school and they were all friends. Yeah, then, I think so. And then the tragedy happened, and then the people who are the ultimate despair decided to play a fucked up game. Yeah. Our plan to bring despair to all mankind. Oh, fun. The apocalyptic tragedy wasn't enough? <laughs> yeah. The ultimate despair, unless they're, all mankind. Unless they're the ones that caused it. Yeah, I think that's the implication, right? If they're all monocles. Well, uh, yeah. Junko has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Oh man. <laughs> All right, I hope go. they take out the bear puppet too. <laughs> Who knows? She's loving it. Wow, she did bring the bear puppet. Man, I hope they show what's actually going on. I hope they don't leave it open ended. Oh, they're I mean, gonna leave would, it open ended. How would they have it? Is it credits? Is it it's gonna be credits. Oh, give me a break. Oh! oh! I knew it! Ding dong bing bong. <laughs> That's racist. Ding dong bing bong. <laughs> Dan Gan Ron Pon. Ding dong bing bong. <laughs> should I bing? Should I bong? <laughs> Sheldon's Big Bang Bazinga Bing Bong Burger. That was it. I'm the ding dong bing bong boy. <laughs> ding dong bing bong? <laughs> ding dong bing bong too. The ding dong bing bong. <laughs> oh, that's a ding dong bing bong. Ding dong. <gasps> Where's the Where's bing bong? The bing bong? <laughs> Ding dong bing bong! Can't have the ding dong without that bing bong. Don't you ding dong bing bong me! Ding dong bing bong. Oh no, we're ding Guys, dong bing bong! Guys, the ding dong bing bong just happened! <laughs> ding dong! <laughs> bing bong! Did somebody call my name? <laughs> I'm the ding dong boy! I'm the one who bing bongs! <laughs> Every ding dong has a bing bong. Oh, ding dong bing bong. Time to get some ding dong bing bong breakfast. <laughs> How did they not make a ding dong bing bong shirt? Ding bing dong bong. Ding dong ding bing, bong. bing bong. A little ding dong bing bong. Ding dong bing bong. The sweet dongs and bongs of the morning. Ding dong bing ding bong. Ding dong bing bong. Yes. Wow, no one died today. Um. Bong. Ding dong bing bong. <laughs> ding dong bing bong. <gasps> Time for those ding dong bing bongs. Gotta get the ding dong bing bongs in. You got to, mister. Dingy dongy bingy bong. Ding ding ding. You got it. No, it's Ding Dong Bing Bong. You're the one who says it. Yeah. 